Hello friends, welcome back. Have you ever seen that the project team has done a great work till the root cause analysis of the Lean Six Sigma project, but still the project results were not sustainable. As a result, after some time, the same project is initiated or relaunched. The major significant cause behind this failure is the level of countermeasures defined by the project team and Lean Six Sigma expert. Now the question is, how to address or overcome this situation. No worries. In this video, I will explain all six levels of countermeasures with the help of practical examples and what is the impact of each level of countermeasure on your project success. So let's begin. Let's first understand what is countermeasure. Countermeasure is the action or solution that we are initiating against the cause or root cause of the problem. This can be a small action or a group of activities with a goal of either reduction or elimination of the cause of the problem. Now let's understand what are the various levels of countermeasures. There are six levels of countermeasures based on the thought process involved to avoid the reoccurrence of the problem. Level 1. Remind everyone of work as prescribed. This is considered as the weakest level of countermeasure. At this level of countermeasure, the focus is only on the improvement of people and adding more and more activities to remind everyone to work as prescribed. Examples of this level of countermeasures are retraining, one point lessons, formal discipline, work instruction, etc. etc. If the countermeasures for root causes you found in your project or root cause analysis are at this level, your problem is going to be repeated with higher frequency. That's why it is called the weakest level of countermeasure, marked as red in color in the countermeasure ladder. Level 2. Double check that everyone is adhering to work as prescribed. This is considered as a better countermeasure compared to level 1. At this level of countermeasure, the focus is only on validation of the activities to ensure everyone is adhering to work as prescribed. Examples of this level of countermeasures are auditing and inspection. This is a very good supporting countermeasure to your primary countermeasures. But if your primary or main countermeasure is at level 2, still your problem is going to repeat with higher frequency. That's why it is called as a weak level of countermeasure marked as a faint red in color in the countermeasure ladder. Level 3 constantly remind at a glance of the correct way. This is considered as a better countermeasure compared to level 1 and level 2. At this level of countermeasures, the focus is on making the action or results more visible, so anyone can understand the status of it. Examples of this level of countermeasures are visual markings and audible signals such as lights, signs or floor markings. Traffic signals also come in this level of countermeasure. This is a better level of countermeasure but still has a lower impact on elimination or reduction in frequency of the problem and is therefore highlighted in orange color. Level 4 Source Inspection for Human Error and Containment This is considered as a very good level of countermeasure compared to level 1 to level 3. This is the most optimized level of countermeasure considering resources such as efforts, time, money and material. At this level of countermeasure, the focus is on developing error proofing or POCA UK to avoid the reoccurrence of the problem. As mentioned, examples of this level of countermeasure includes POCA UK, like many electrical plugs are designed to only be inserted in one way. Safety features in vehicle including blind spot warnings, auto brakes and cameras to prevent accidents. This level of countermeasure has a significant impact on the elimination or reduction in frequency of the problem and is therefore highlighted in yellow color. For best results and to ensure your project is delivering the sustainable results, you must think about this level of countermeasure, which may be supported by the level of countermeasures at 2 and 3. Level 5. Eliminate the human element. This is considered as a strong level of countermeasure compared to level 1 to level 4. The countermeasure at this level required more resources like time, money and efforts. At this level of countermeasure, 
the focus is on eliminating the human element from the process or process steps to avoid the reoccurrence of the problem. Examples of this level of countermeasures includes automation. Like in administrative work, robotic process automation software is used to automate repetitive data entry tasks such as entering invoice details into the system. This reduces human errors, speed up the process and frees employees to focus on higher value tasks. Another example is from the warehouse. A warehouse management system uses RFID technology to automatically track the inventory levels and reorder stock when items reach a predetermined threshold. This helps to avoid the stockouts and overstocking, optimizing the supply chain process. This level of countermeasure has a significant and strong impact on the elimination or reduction in the frequency of the problem and is therefore highlighted in light green color. If you are available with the resources needed to go for this level of countermeasure, this must be your first choice. You can also support this countermeasure with the level of countermeasures at levels 1 to 4. Level 6 Eliminate the step, task or activity This is the best and strongest level of countermeasure. The countermeasure at this level required out-of-box thinking and creativity to eliminate the source of problem generation. At this level of countermeasure, the focus is on the design change to eliminate the problematic step, task or activity to avoid the reoccurrence of the problem. Examples of this level of countermeasures are Elimination of tubes in tires to avoid the frequent puncture problems by designing the tubeless tires. Hence the part tube is eliminated to avoid the reoccurrence of the problem. Another example is from the chemical industry. In a chemical processing plant, Equipment made from steel regularly corrodes due to the exposure to harsh chemicals. By redesigning the equipment with corrosion resistant materials like stainless steel or a specific alloy, the corrosion problem is eliminated, which leads to longer equipment life and fewer replacements. This level of countermeasure has the strongest impact on the elimination of the problem and is therefore highlighted in dark green color into the countermeasure ladder. This is all about the countermeasure lattice. Now let's summarize our learnings. Conclusion The success of the project or any kind of analysis lies in identifying the correct root cause of the problem. But to make sustainable results from the project, it's very critical to define the strong countermeasure against the identified root causes. The main reason behind the failure of the projects even after the effective root cause analysis is the level of countermeasures defined. As we have seen, there are six levels of countermeasures ranging from level 1 as the weakest countermeasure with a complete dependency on reminders to a level 6 as the strongest countermeasure with a systematic solution. If you have a countermeasure at level 6, the results from the projects or analysis will be sustainable. As we lower the level of countermeasures, the results will also start deteriorating. Practically, we always have a lack of resources and cannot target a level 5 and level 6 for all the projects and analysis. But the critical projects must be started with this thought process. For other projects, level 4 is the best and optimized level of countermeasures you must target to deliver sustainable results with available resources. Of course, you can use countermeasures of level 1 to level 3 as a supporting countermeasures to your main countermeasures at level 4 to level 6. I'm sure. This video helped you to understand a critical topic to deliver effective and sustainable results. At the end of this video, if you found this information useful, please do not forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you for your valuable time and see you in the next video.